What's going on everybody? Welcome to the video. Today I'm doing a day in the life of fitness influencer Will Tennyson. Before you say, oh you're just doing, you know, this guy without his permission. No, I got his permission. We're homies on Instagram. Not really, but he's just nice enough to reach out. So he wakes up at 7.45 a.m., which I did. It's about 7.50 right now. He slams the whole thing of water, so I'm going to pound this and then get to some morning cardio. Will's favorite type of morning cardio is to jump rope. And he does about a thousand skips every morning, so that's what I'm gonna do. Hopefully I don't vomit after drinking all that water, but we're gonna give it a shot, and I am so bad at jump rope, so don't judge me too hard. Oh God, jump rope is a lot harder than I think it is every time. I'm so bad at it. After an embarrassing amount of time it took to do a thousand skips, we're finally done. Kind of feels like I'm having a heart attack. But that's just a, that's the pain of fitness, baby. Will likes to do jump rope in the morning because it's good cardio, gets your heart going, and you get steps in. So it's a, just a three in one, three way, if you will. Will likes to take morning showers. It helps wake him up, kind of give him some more energy, get him ready for the day. And after that jump rope, I understand because I was a sweaty. I don't usually take showers in the morning, that's kind of weird for me, but I do like it, it feels nice. Sir William is known for his sexual innuendos and caffeine intake. He goes to Tim Hortons about one to two times a week because it tastes better out of a to-go cup. I'll be the judge of that, I don't know, we'll see. But in the US, we don't have Tim Hortons, so Starbucks is gonna have to do. So I'm gonna walk this Starbucks, get my steps in, because he gets 10,000 steps every single day. He also averages about six cups of coffee a day, and I think if I had that much caffeine, I would have a heart attack and then be brought back to life without that caffeine. One cup and I'm tweaking. So I'll see ya after. Okay, here we go, back at my place. I got a dark roast, that's all he gets, nothing in it, no calories, you don't wanna drink your calories. I'll give it a taste test, I've already had some, but I'll do it on camera. Yeah, it tastes like coffee. No, <laughs> no, it's pretty good. I like black coffee, that's usually what I drink anyway, so this is nice, but is it better out of the to-go cup? Uh, I don't know, it hurts the wallet a little bit, I'll tell you that much. So it's 8.45 and Will starts working around this time doing some editing and research for videos and I will be doing the same. Okay, just wrapping up some editing and research. Been a really productive day so far, Will. You got a good schedule down, I appreciate it and I respect it. He also writes down three goals per day. He says if you write them down, you're more likely to do them and not forget about it. So I'm gonna write down three goals and then we're gonna make one of his meals and I'll test it, see if it's good. Probably is. I'm gonna be making Will's protein pancakes with berry compote. I don't even know what that is, but it sounds fancy and I wanna do it because it looks good. He likes to save a lot of his calories for later in the day, so if he goes out to eat, you know, he has some wiggle room. So let's get into these pancakes. You need one mashed banana, two whole eggs, teaspoon of stevia, and one scoop of protein. That's it for the pancakes. And for the berry compote, you need one cup of fruit. I chose strawberries, lowest in calories. And one tablespoon of lemon juice. That's it, I guess, I don't know. Okay, here's the thing. Uh, as I was making the pancakes, I realized A, I cooked on too high of a heat, and B, I don't have a spatula to flip it. So it turned out to be a pancake scramble egg. Um, so this is what we're looking at here. <laughs> I just, I was like, you know what, it's gotta get cooked somehow. But it looks not too bad. It looks like eggs with, you know, strawberries on it. So, you know, he's a good cook, I'm not. I messed up, but it should taste the same, you know what I mean? Just doesn't look great. And as he says, he likes to have a little bit of chemicals every day, the Walden Farm zero calorie syrup, amazing. All right, let's give it a shot here. Do a little bit of everything. You know what I mean? A little bit of <laughs> scrambled eggs, pancake. Mm. Okay, okay. I'll tell you what, the strawberries make it a lot better. <laughs> Pancake's not bad. Um, as far as flavor goes, I mean, I did mess it up, so 
but definitely get a strong pine or a banana vibe. Um, a pancake on its own, I'd probably get like a 6.2 out of 10. But with the strawberries or the compote, if you will, whatever the heck that means, probably brings it up to like a solid 7.5. For all this, it's 485 calories, 42 grams of protein, 50 grams of carbs, and 13 grams of fat. So not bad, pretty good tasting, and you know, it's kind of fun if you don't mess it up. So not too bad, Will. Not too bad. Super set some coffee in. All right, that's meal one. I'll see you later for meal two. In the meantime, I'm gonna be doing some work. Ugh. All right, just finished my coffee. I'm pretty sure I can hear colors now, just after one. I don't know how he drinks six, but something Will likes to do is meditate for about 10 minutes a day to some music, and that's something I need for just mentally and to slow my heartbeat down from 200 beats per minute. So I'm gonna go meditate for 10 minutes, and then after that, we'll get into meal two. Wow, I feel really good after that. I'm like super relaxed and just kind of happy. Like, I don't know, it just changes your mood kind of. It's kind of crazy. I've never done it before, but I need to start doing it. I liked it a lot. Uh, I recommend if you've never like really meditated or, you know, throw some like meditation music in and just lay down for 10 minutes and just kind of zen out. It's pretty nice. Side note about Will though, as far as like an influencer goes and someone on YouTube, he's someone I really look up to. He puts out great content, won't BS you, tells you how it is, gives you good advice. You know, like some influencers kind of give you some BS, natural athlete. He's just a good dude all around. I'll link his YouTube below. If you're watching, please subscribe to him. He's, uh, he's a good dude. Now let's go cook some lunch. Meal number two is a healthy sausage egg McMuffin. You just need low calorie muffins, some low calorie, low fat, single cheese slice things, some egg whites, this is egg beaters, same thing, and some low calorie chicken or turkey sausage. This is the spicy kind, it's all they had, so I'm probably just gonna be sweating, but you know, it's close enough. You want to take these out of the casing and just put them right onto the pan because it can kind of form a little patty. Otherwise, you'll have a freaking, obviously, a sausage you know, link on your thing. It's not what you want. Also, recipes for all this will be in the descriptions below. Uh, you can just check it out for all the things I'm making today. Okay, upon further examination, the sausage does not have a casing on it, so we're just going right on the thing. I already messed this one up. Let's see if I can make anything right today. Damn it, Will. All right, now you may be thinking, how could you mess up a sausage egg McMuffin? But you know what, I found a way. I don't know how he films and cooks at the same time, but this is what we're working with here. It's okay that I just had to cut the sausage links in half a little bit. The same idea, you get it, you get the idea. Give it a taste test here. Mm-hmm, yep. Now that's good. Healthy, it's good, high protein. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. All right, well, I see. This one's really good. I'd probably give this probably a 7.8. For both of these, it is 565 calories, 64 grams of protein, 49 grams of carbs, and 13 grams of fat. Getting your protein in, keeping carbs and fats pretty low, and tastes really good. So, all right, boom. Smoke that. Ready to work out now. Eat that a little too fast, probably. It was really good. So, next stop, the gym. I'm going to do one of his workouts. I know he does like a his own workouts and his leg days are split into two days but i just kind of threw it into one five workouts just legs hitting that today hard we'll see you there all right let me just preface the gym real quick my anxiety is actually through the roof filming in the gym i don't know why like filming in the gym just panics me so much but I might pass out not from the squats but from pure anxiety now i'm gonna take this non-stim pre-workout because will is all about caffeine and if i had caffeine right now i wouldn't be able to sleep but here's his brands you know, pre-workout, use code TENNY10 uh, if you want 10% off of this. Uh, you know, it's, I'm not sponsored by it, but might as well plug him. So let's get to the gym. And I'm walking to and from the gym, so still getting some steps in, inching closer to that 10,000 mark, almost there. All right, we got squats, four sets of 10 to 12, let's see what we can do. We have leg press 15 to 20 in the first set, 
12 to 15 second set, 10 to 12 in the third set with the drop set. All right, we got a super set, four sets of 15 leg extensions, and four sets of 15 to 20 on leg curls. Everyone's favorite Bulgarian split squats. We got 10 to 12, 8 to 10, and 6 to 8. So here we go. Last but not least, calf raises 315. To 20. Will doesn't do abs, neither do we. Will, you beautiful bastard. That was a tough work, and I'm completely dead. And pan down, you can see short shorts always for leg day. All right, now it's time for meal number three. Let's get it. Will usually has dinner at about 6 p.m. It's like 7 right now. He has it with his girlfriend. I don't have a girlfriend, but I do have Pamela Henderson, always by my side. He, he made like a chicken bake, chicken quinoa bake. I already had it pretty much in the fridge. Flame, I know, I know. But, you know, pre-made. We got chicken, quinoa, broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. So, let's dig in. All right, here we go. See, I marinated the chicken a secret way. If you want to know a secret way to marinate it, like absolute life hack. It's unbelievable how easy it is and how good it tastes. Let me know, I'll make a video on that. But, taste test. Yeah, we got a little bit of everything here. I mean, you just, you just can't beat it. You know? You just, you just feel like you're getting buffer after eating this, you know what I mean? Realistically, probably like a 7.1. And don't worry, I got the macros for it. For all this right here, 645 calories, 76 grams of protein, 30 grams of carbs, 17 grams of fat. Boom. Not too shabby. I don't know if you can see this, but that's 11,000 steps. So we hit this step mark a little over. But, you know, we did it, actually, surprisingly, so, nice. I'm gonna finish this up and I'll see you later for some homemade dessert. Bonus, I got over my fear of filming in the gym. It wasn't actually that bad, it was way worse in my head, so that's nice. But Will likes to end his night with some dessert and some TV, so I'm gonna make his own recipe for protein ice cream. Not Greg Doucette's, but Will's, and we'll give it a try and see how it is. You need 40 grams of casein protein, eight grams of sugar-free, fat-free pudding. It's a mouthful. 12 grams of coconut flour, five grams cocoa powder, this is the best kind, trust me, three grams of xanthan gum, 300 milliliters of cashew milk and two shaker cups full of ice add water as you blend to kind of you know help it blend I'll tell you what if you want a forearm workout you can just make this ice cream all right pretty good. Alright, boom. Look at this freaking behemoth. Look how much ice cream that is. That is insane. Like, that's good consistency. I'm scared. Okay, so I'm giving a taste test here. Before I do, I'll tell you the calories and macros for this bad boy. This whole thing, so that's my absolutely huge head. 633 calories, 44 grams of protein, 94 grams of carb, 94 grams of carbs, 94 grams of carbs, and nine grams of fat. So freaking amazing. I mean, you get a good amount of protein and insane volume. Total calories for the day will be on the screen. I had a protein bar, so I'll throw that in, extra few hundred calories. But as far as a cut goes, it's great macros. He likes his protein higher, it keeps him fuller, more satiated. So I had pretty high protein today, but yeah, pretty solid. So let's give it a test. I mean, look at that. Is this ice cream? I mean, yeah, it's pretty good as far as, you know, 
protein ice cream goes, or like freaking homemade ice cream with no dairy, really. Um, I'll probably give this uh, 7.6, pretty good. How could I forget? I got this Walden Farms caramel thing. We want some more chemicals in our life, so let's give it a shot, zero calories. I'm just gonna taste it straight up. Yeah, this one might be actually really good. I don't really like the chocolate syrup one that much. The uh, maple syrup one's pretty good. All right, let's give it a shot with the ice cream. Okay, yeah, the caramel one is fire. Low key. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Comment down below some people you want to see maybe me do a day in the life of. Doesn't have to be a fitness influencer. It could be anybody. It could be like The Rock or something. I don't know. Uh, hit subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you later.